When playing a forehand or backhand, where should you hit the ball in relation to your body? The ideal hitting zone is roughly where you would normally catch a ball. For the backhand, that's a great hitting spot, roughly where you're going to catch the ball. The hitting zone for the forehand is the same, just where you would catch the ball. It's the same hitting zone, but you've turned your body to the side so that now you're able to hit a forehand from the same hitting zone. So the backhand hitting zone, forehand hitting zone. You'll see that they're the same distance away from your body, just in a different position because of the rotation of your body. So notice here that I'm hitting the ball in exactly the same position every time. And that position is roughly where I would catch the ball if I was using two hands. If the ball goes out wide, then you need to move across so your hitting zones in the same position in relation to your body. The backhand hitting zone is directly in front of your body. If the ball goes out wide, you need to move behind the ball so that your hitting zone stays in the same place in relation to your body. To practice hitting the ball in the hitting zone, get your partner to control the ball to one position to start off with. Then, as you get more comfortable, you can start to get them to move the ball around in a pattern so that you know where the ball's coming, but you need to move to get to that hitting zone. If you've mastered that, then you can start to think about hitting the ball randomly and you trying to adjust and get the ball into the hitting zone each time. The hitting zone remains the same for your push or your top spin. As you start to play some bigger and faster strokes, all you need to do is just adjust your hitting zone slightly further away from your body to allow for the bigger arm swing. Remember if the ball goes shorter or longer, you need to adjust your position so that the hitting zone remains the same. If you want to hit the ball earlier, come in closer to the table and get that same hitting zone. If you want to hit the ball later, move your body and hit the ball from the same hitting zone. Changing the timing of your stroke makes it more difficult for your opponent to adjust to each ball. If you get that ball earlier, you're cutting down the time for your opponent. If you take the ball later, you're giving yourself more time to be able to play a bigger stroke. Once you've got the hitting zone right, your next task is to transfer your weight.